Welcome back, Barstow. I hope everyone had a great weekend. How was your weekend, David? You know, it was pretty good. It was nice to rest before a busy week of sports. We'll talk more about those sports after the intro. Since the NCAA Tournament Championship took place last night, Michael went around last week asking people their predictions on which team would win. Let's see what students had to say. I got Duke winning it all because Coach K is the GOAT. He's going to whoop Kansas in the finals and it's going to be, he's going to ride out on top. For March Madness on the men's side, I have Villanova winning and on the women's side, UConn. Uh, uh, Villanova, I agree. <laughs> I have Duke winning it all because it's Coach K's last year. I think it's going to be uh, Duke versus KU in the final, like the championship, and Duke takes it all. I predict that North Carolina will win. Come back on Monday when UNC wins it all. UConn's winning the women's national championship. I think Kansas is going to win. I think Carolina's going to win. KU. KU. North Carolina, go blue. So North Carolina beats Duke in a thriller. It comes down to the wire. Coach K lets out a tear. We move on. KU beats Villanova by six. It was a two-point game. They started fouling. They had to six-point game. Duke is lost. So KU, UNC. KU, the UNC just runs out of steam. KU steamrolls them to an easy national championship. KU all the way, baby. Rock chalk for life. No, it's pretty cheesy. I have UNC winning it. Kansas. I have KU winning all, it all. I'm three. Okay. Three, two, one. K KU. 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 Kansas University. K KU. Uh, the, uh, university. In Go KU. All right, I have KU and Duke. You already know KU's winning. Villanova. Dude. Bro. Yeah. Oh. Bold. Yes. Bold. Yes. Bold. Yes. No. That's bold. Villanova? Bold. Actually, wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. North Carolina. I think UNC is going to win against Duke, and I know Coach K is going to be angry. You know, it's his last season, but I think Duke is full of pretentious people, and I don't like Duke, so I think UNC is going to win. And then, obviously, KU is going to go to the finals, too. And then UNC versus KU, and KU is going to win because Christian Braun. My prediction is Kansas all the way. Rock, Chuck, Jayhawk. Let's go. KU. UConn is winning the winning the women's national championship and Duke is winning the men's. Um, I'd say Villanova because it has a cool name. Thanks Michael and congrats to KU. Uh, I'm pretty glad that my prediction was spot on. Well Aiden, moving on it looks like Jordy is in the studio today to fill us in with some more sports news from the past few weeks. Let's head over to Jordy. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Barstow Sports Center. We have a lot to talk about, so let's get into it. In Barstow Sports News, the girls' soccer team had their St. Louis trip last weekend and won both of their games. They defeated Crossroads 2-1 and beat Principia 3-1. Last Friday, the boys' baseball team had a close game against University Academy up to the end. They barely lost in extra innings. Last evening, the team brought home their first victory of the season and defeated Casey Lutheran 9-4. Yesterday, the boys' tennis team played in the Lee Summit West Tournament. Congrats to the whole team for having a great tournament and for winning first singles and doubles, with, with Richie King winning number one overall singles. This Thursday, the track team has the Cass Midway meet. Good luck to all athletes competing in sports this week. In professional sports news, a lot has been happening all around the NFL and MLB, especially here in Kansas City. The most important being that the Chiefs recently traded away Tyreek Hill in exchange for five draft picks from the Miami Dolphins. Though the loss of Hill will be felt, they picked up wide receivers Juju Smith-Schuster and Marquez Valdez-Scantling 
They also picked up offensive tackle Jerron Christian. It also looks like Tyron Matthew will be leaving the Chiefs as he is looking for more money than the Chiefs can offer him. In Royals news, the Royals reacquired their old franchise cornerstone, Zach Greinke. He previously won the Cy Young with the Royals and is the Royals opening pitcher this season. The Royals prospect Bobby Witt Jr. has also been looking promising in the preseason and he has been called up to the opening day roster. With all the news revolving around the MLB lockdown recently, I'm sure many of you are wondering why the lockout happened and what changed as a result of it. This year, the MLB five-year labor agreement ended and the league went into a lockout to create leverage while negotiating with the players' union. Some of the changes made include increased minimum pay for players and increased player bonuses for young players. Despite the lockout, the MLB will still have the 162-game season even after the lockout is over. In the time that the lockout was in place, Tom Brady somehow retired and unretired. He originally wanted to retire to spend more time with his family, but I guess he couldn't get his last loss against the Rams out of his head. He'll be back for this season with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with their new head coach. Their previous coach, Bruce Arians, recently retired. That's all I have for you today. Let's go back to the news desk. Thanks, Jordy. Before we go, there's a competitive food drive for harvesters starting tomorrow and ending the next week. The classes are competing against each other. Here's a list of harvesters' most needed items. Looks like that's all we have for you today. I'm David. And I'm Aiden. Have a great day, Barstow.